Hi, today we are going to react to Mariah Carey's High Notes. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, today we are going to watch a video called Brand New Mandela Effects um, by the channel All Time. I actually watched this guy's video, but I've never seen this uh, episode for some reason, so we're going to watch it. If any of you guys don't know, like a Mandela Effect is like something that a lot of people like think happened, but it actually... It's like complete opposite, like a name or, um, you know, like an event that happened that we think that happened, but actually didn't happen or it happened in a way that we can't, you know, remember on a mass scale. So, so let's watch this brand new Mandela effect. The man who crossed the Delaware led a revolution and became the United States of America's first president. George Washington was a man of legend and stature. Now, because this man is so well known, this upcoming Mandela Effect should be easy for you. Growing up, George Washington didn't have access to the best dental care. In fact, in the early 20s, he started losing teeth. During his lifetime, he went through numerous pairs of unsightly and painful dentures. By the time he became the American president, he only had one tooth left. So here's where the Mandela Effect comes in. Did George Washington have wooden teeth? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember. Uh, them talking about him having winning teeth when I was in school, like way back uh, in elementary school. So, yes, it's probably going to be no. George Washington absolutely did not have wooden teeth. It has been a long standing belief slash fact that George Washington had wooden teeth. Most Americans were taught this or learned this in school. Well, as it is now, George Washington never had wooden teeth. In fact, wood was never even an element in any of his many pairs <laughs> it's of dentures. A lie, man. His dentures were, in fact, how much other stuff have we learned in school that is just not true? I mean, I literally remember my teacher, my history teacher, talking about him having wooden teeth. A history teacher. Like, what else are they teaching us that's... Next up is a Mandela effect that relates to the very popular video game Halo 2. Now, this Mandela effect is more of an explanation and not so much of a question, so I'm going to try and break it down as simply as I can. In every mainline Halo game from Halo 1, to two, to three, to four, you could play split screen in co-op, meaning that it splits the TV screen into two halves and you and your friend can play at the same time. Now, this co-op feature has existed on every single level in Halo 1 through 4, but now it doesn't. Somehow the first two levels of Halo 2 are no longer playable in co-op, and they never have been. No matter what you do, you can't even force it to work in these games on the original Xbox game or the remastered version on Xbox One and PC. It doesn't exist anymore, it has simply vanished. Creepier still, you can't find footage of this existing. Now, the easiest explanation is that it has always been this way and that Halo fans are being silly. Well, here's the argument against that. Halo is a game that is built around replayability, meaning you can play it over and over and over and discover new things and have new experiences. Single player, co-op, multiplayer, the trifecta of Halo. If somehow the first two levels of Halo 2 weren't playable in co-op, this detail would have been known and discussed years ago. I mean, this game originally came out in 2004. Guys, I, <laughs> I've played Halo my entire like life growing up. Like that was literally my life. Like I would play that so much. Like my the hours that I have spent on those those Halo franchises are insane. Whenever I was younger, I used to play split screen um, with my friends all the time. I mean, I, if I could call them right now, it would be split screen, right? And, um, I'm actually, I'm actually going to message, uh, I'm going to message them and we'll put it in this video. We used to play split screen on Halo and it doesn't exist. Uh, Yet somehow this has never come up before on the internet until this year. That's incredible. Almost inconceivable. The first level is called The Heretic, and it's simply a cutscene, or an animated movie. But since this would be in co-op, it would just be playing for both players. As of now, you can't play that with another person. Even sitting in front of the same TV, if you say let's play co-op, and press start, they just skip the opening cutscene. It simply doesn't play. The second level is called The Armory, and this one is especially confusing because plenty of people have memories of playing this level with a friend. Myself included. This is one of the craziest Mandela effects I've ever encountered because I have memories playing this level with my cousin when I was younger. I can see it clear as day. Both of us were trapped in that tiny monorail as it moved from one part of the level to another while we Dude, jumped around. Like, guys. 
this is freaking me out. Like, it, it, it's almost embarrassing to admit that I've, like, played this game probably hundreds of times with my friends growing up. Hundreds of times growing up. And whenever you would get to that that level, and there'd be two screens, it'd be on the top and the bottom, because, you know, there was really no, there was internet, of course, but people played on split screens, right? When you're with your friends, you each have your controller and you use the same screen. So much that, you know, people would be like, especially when you're playing online, they would call it like screen sniping, where, uh, or, you know, like screen, uh, watching the other person's screen and cheating to see where they're at. But with the co-op, when you used to play this exact opening, which is like, I think it's the first opening, each person literally sees the opening. I, I clearly, clearly remember that. Around waiting to start shooting. This one is unexplainable. Yeah. I just don't get it. There's even a comment I found yeah. with over 1,100 yeah. thumbs up. Somehow everyone is misremembering and this is all a fabrication or something has- This level, right? I know this sounds like stupid, but this is like literally like proof to me that we live in a fucking simulation because this level, they would have two separate pods, right? And this, this one's going to take up most of the video. Honestly, I'm going to skim through and see if the other Mandela effects even matter because this one is crazy to me. They had these pods that they're in. There's two separate pods and one person would be the other one and the other person would be the other one. And you'd have almost two different like viewpoints, but... Oh, let's see what he says. No, I cl dude, I clearly remember that. That's weird. Dude, I'm just going to end the video there. Uh, let me skim through. Yeah, it's about like Swiss rules or, and stuff like that. Because this thing is blowing my fucking mind. I'm literally going to message my friends and see if they reply. I haven't talked to them in fucking years, so I have no idea. I'm going to post it in the, in, the script, or in the video. This, like, is crazy because it makes me think, like... How is this possible? Like, why why is this collective bunch of people going from one reality to another reality? Like, can we... I get it. One Mandela effect, two Mandela effects. I get it. You, you know, maybe it's a, like a coincidence or whatever. But this guy literally has a series of this. And this... You see, I didn't even plan this. this I, I, I can't even finish this video because I'm, my mind is blown. That... How many, like, <laughs> how many times do we, like, switch realities, you know what I mean? And it, we, we've been so programmed to think that sounds so crazy, but I, I guarantee, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write my, my own childhood friends right now, and I guarantee that they're going to remember split screen playing this. I guarantee it. And... It, it's just weird, like, do we collectively switch realities? Like, do, how can we collectively forget all these tiny things and, and you know, miskew or skew up all these tiny things and it's, like, something else? I'm telling you guys, like, I'm almost 100% convinced that we live in a simulation because this isn't the first time this happened to me. I'm actually surprised because this is, like, my childhood, <laughs> literally. Um, I'm just, it's insane. So, I can't even finish the video. <laughs> I really can't. Um, I'm just going to leave it out here. If you guys want to see his other stuff, I'll leave his uh, link in the description. Because he actually does have good stuff. I've seen his other uh, Mandela effects. But this one blows my mind. Um, I'm going to have to con <laughs> contemplate life for a little bit. So, I know this isn't my normal type of video. But it kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm trying to portray to you guys because we live in a we live in a simulation guys like like come on how is it that we're able to okay we're all fooled right we all uh we all are uh crazy like this never happened but how do you trick so many people with something so stupid as you know halo like oh that's crazy guys comment down below if you have any video kind of any video that you want me to react to and maybe I'll react to it. Uh, like if you haven't already. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'm like, mind blown. Thanks for watching.